We're going to Germany. <laughs> Here, people buy tests and can just make a testing center out of their own home. So we're at one now, we're going to get our PCR test to go to Germany. And they can buy the tests for like 6 euro each and then they sell them and we pay like 100 or 70 euro. So it's quite a business. <laughs> I just woke up and it's snowing outside. My goals today were to like find speed on the course, do some hot laps, and in these conditions, I don't think that would happen. <laughs> Good for Sevilla, bad for Cole. There's a beam in our room here that <laughs> Sevilla found is awesome to hook up the TRX in. I put the vlog camera down and come do your place. <laughs> <laughs> and she's listening to Beyonce. <laughs> it's 12.30 a.m. I have a final right now. It's at 4.30 back in Colorado, but um, 12.30 here in Germany. And Cole is asleep over there. It's race day for Sevilla, and we are taking over Pivot's Instagram. So it's gonna be a busy day, and... We're so nervous! <laughs> what are we gonna even do? Oh, I wanna show them what we eat, but Cole still doesn't think that that's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. So, when we fly here, our bags are like 80 pounds. You wonder why they're so heavy? This is pancake mix, and it was full when we got here. They don't have this specific pancake mix here. So we had to make sure we brought enough. So we are walking to get our morning test. They're making us get tested every day before you enter the venue. We have little stalls that we get tested in. Then we wait over here for our negative result. Then we get a wristband that allows us into the venue. Let's go, let's go. Super bummed to say this, but going into the start loop, Sevilla had a little bit of a lead, and then it looked like she broke her chain. Uh, she had to coast back down to the tech zone um, where they put a new chain on, and she was in dead last, um, but now she's back on her bike trying to make up some more room. I get it. Uh, I broke the chain on the start loop. I was feeling super good. I was leading and then the top of the climb broke it and by the feed zone I was like 30 seconds behind the last rider. And so from then on it was just a catch up game. So not what I wanted but we got next weekend and I got a good workout. Where is he? Where is he? He's cutting it short. <laughs> Cole's cutting it a little close. Yeah, he's not nervous. <laughs> Nervous, are we? No, no, no. <laughs> Cole lined up 123rd out of like 200 elite men. And looks like he had a good start. Um, this race is just going to be all about passing as many people as he can and just picking them off. Just picking them off. Picking them off. No spectators, they said. I passed yesterday and 
pretty sure he doubled that. So I have lost my voice. I think he finished like top 55 maybe. Dude, that was freaking amazing. Our tactic was just get off and run the first lap. And uh, yeah, it worked out. I think like every tight corner, I just pop off the bike and run and pass five people. The whole race was just trying to climb back up. It started so far back, but I'm happy. I mean, I think my only goal today was just to see how far I can move up the grid and hopefully have a little bit better start position in Nova Mesto. That's definitely a course that suits me a little better, so I'm excited. Public. <laughs>